subdivision I'm in and today we're going to be doing Christmas layout 2021 layout update number two. Uh, in layout update number one I showed you the loop of track we were using as well as how I did the 2 by 3 forming of making the four separate boxes and then combining them together to give me framework to create packages for the trains to run through. So what you see behind me is pretty much a finished product. It needs some work, some detail work, and our tree is not decorated yet because I don't know where our Christmas lights are. <laughs> so either I bought new ones and misplaced them or I didn't buy new ones and wrote in the bag with the lights that were on the tree last year, old Christmas lights. So I guess I thought I was going to buy some and did it in the last year. So we'll be getting to that soon. Um, but we're going to jump in. I'm going to show you what I did to get to this point um, if you are interested. Um, last time you seen this was just the framework like you see here in the front okay um you also didn't see this disaster zone of a mess uh that's tiny and she's been using this as a jungle gym while i'm working on it um but moving on so i got a huge mess I'm working on this all day um i haven't done anything since the last video i posted um uh, so I'm actually recording this the same day I'm doing this work. It's Saturday and it's now 9.15. So what I got done today was I put that piece of cardboard in, cardboard down the back. We closed in the whole front here. So this is, this will all get wrapped to look like presents. Okay. And then the track will run down through the back. Um, um, to this point, you can see I got backdrop coming back into here, and I'll show you why in a second when we go down to the floor. And you can see I also wrapped backdrop around to this point. I was going to paint this, but I got white duct tape, and it was a lot quicker to just throw the white tape across because um, that would get covered with buffalo snow or carpet. So what I did was these were the backdrops from last year's layout. So I reused those. So I cut it and brought it to there and I brought it to there. And the reason for that is this here in between the two two by fours is where the plexiglass is going to be to view in here. So you can see I used last year's tunnel portal right there. And that's to exit out of the present. And then you got the moon backdrop going around I have some touch-up work to do in here um, as it's not a hundred percent but you can see I, um, I have the piece cut for here and that's what I'm gonna be working on next um, but that's a little bit of what I'm doing and I'm really happy with this so far now that I've gotten a little done um, and you can see I just have the ends done with the little hole and uh, you'll see as we progress through this how I'm going to close this whole thing up so you only see that scene if you look through that window and uh, this will have a scene here okay I'm standing here over the part that is now um, scened pretty much as we look in through the top now if I back up you can see how my plan has unfolded um, this is the cardboard to cover the front to come down to the window and look in, you can see the locomotive, the scenery, and then the tunnel out into the real world. So, like I said, this is plexiglass. There's our view looking back. We got the trees, snowfall, you got the, the night sky. Uh, this cardboard here is gonna be another lake. I gotta paint it quick throw it back in here so that is this scene is pretty much complete we'll be putting the lid on that and then the back part and then if we come over to this side I got the white painted in for the snow and I'll paint the sky in and then 
I have a piece to go there of the old, which will fill in, and that'll give me my angle I need back there. So that was just an update. Um, at this point, I don't know what I'm doing. I do know what I'm doing in here, but I'm focusing on one at a time. So that's where we're at with uh, the Christmas update at this point. Um, really, oh, can't wait to wrap up the outside and call this a wrap on this project. But it's been fun. So thanks for following along so far. Okay, so as you can see, all I really did was use cardboard to cover everything up. And most of the scenes inside were used from materials left from last year, except for this, uh, I'm going to call them shadow boxes or present boxes, present shadow boxes. But that's basically what they act as. It's like a shadow box to view in for the kids. And uh, so far it's worked as planned. Cameron likes to lay here. And he really doesn't bother with the train when it's out here in the open. I'm sure that'll change, but for now it's been working. So that's going to be the end of this layout update. I'm going to finish this video off with showing you some of the pictures through the construction. And then a small clip of Cameron enjoying the train through uh, the glass here and I will be putting another video up once the trees all decorate it um, to enter into SMT's Christmas contest um, I did last year uh, it was a lot of fun and uh, I really like this idea and I want to share it with people and maybe spark somebody else's creative mind to come up with a display of their own um, I'd say 15 hours of work into this total, um, but well worth it uh, seeing Cameron's reaction and my wife is really, really, really happy with this Christmas display. Um, I'm far happier with this than last year's and uh, I didn't think it would come out this this nice. I'm, I'm really impressed with myself on this one. Um, really am. So let's take a look at some of that and thanks for watching guys.